Begin tonight with breaking news in connection with the bombing Saturday night in New York City. One of four incidents involving explosives in the New York and New Jazz region during the last 48 hours. Now, according to multiple media reports, a moment ago, authorities have taken into custody a 28-year-old man after a shootout in Linden, New Jersey, 30, 13 miles southwest of Manhattan. The FBI says Afghanistan-born American Ahmad Khan Rahani was wanted for questioning in the blast that injured 29 people in the neighborhood of Chelsea Saturday night. Police also want to question Rahami about another bombing hours before the Manhattan explosion about 135 kilometers south of New, J New York City. Explosives detonated in a trash bin in Seaside Park just before a five kilometer foot race began. No one was hurt in the blast. One New York resident described what he heard in the Saturday bombing. I was sitting there and all of a sudden I heard a big, huge boom. And I thought, oh gosh, maybe it's an unexpected thunderstorm. But then I looked out the window, there was no clouds in the sky. I said, wait a minute, this is crazy. And all of a sudden, uh, that boom was so powerful that it basically turned around and it turned out all the, the horns on all the cars. Uh, it turned the, the horns and the cars on. Well, a short time ago, U.S. President Barack Obama had this reaction to Saturday's bombing attack. We'll continue to lead the global coalition in the fight to destroy ISIL, which is uh, instigating a lot of uh, people over the Internet uh, to carry out attacks. Uh, we are going to continue to go after them. We're going to take out their leaders. We're going to take out their infrastructure. They are continuing to lose ground in Iraq and in Syria. And later today, I'll be meeting with Prime Minister Abadi of Iraq to discuss uh, the need to sustain that momentum. As we take away more of their territory, it exposes ISIL as the failed cause that it is. And it helps to undermine their ideology, which over time will make it harder for them to recruit and inspire people to violence.